All right, guys. Um, the last video I did was on the uh, Autel 908 breaking on me, and um, uh, my idea for a fix for what I had going on. And um, I used the tool today; it does work. Uh, everything's fine. You just have to use a mouse. Okay, so that's cool. Um, got a couple of guys in comments and stuff were asking me about the new Elite that I had purchased. The Elite came in today, and um, as usual, would all tell. There's nothing simple. Uh, I'm really not gonna. I'm really not gonna knock or start making a big deal about something. It's kind of a. It's kind of a small thing, but it's an annoyance that, to my in my opinion, shouldn't happen, especially with a company that's as big as these guys are now. Uh, the problem that I had was when I got the tool, it um, I couldn't register it because my username, which I already have established for years due to the fact that I've had a two 708s, the one 908, and now the 908 Elite. Uh, series right I've already had these you know I've already had this account open for quite some time and it would not take my username it, what it was doing was it was saying that my username is you my, my email address which is my ID uh, was not was no was not valid so I had uh, contacted or attempted to contact this is where my this is where my annoyance uh, comes in I tried contacting Autel for about an hour and a half. I got put on hold and said, "If you'd like to speak to, a, you know, a technician uh, for support, please stay on hold." I stayed on hold for about ten minutes at a time, three times, and each time at the end of that ten minutes or so, I was told that there's nobody that can help me right now. Please call back later or leave a message, and that was that. Uh, they got to have a better way to run an organization like that. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing is, uh, I had contacted the people that I bought the tool from, who are fantastic, by the way. I have nothing bad to say about these guys. I love them. Uh, I've been dealing with them for years. AES Wave, I'm sure a lot of you guys out there deal with them. You have a lot of nice things to say about them as well. Um, so with AES Wave, uh, the gentleman named Scott, he's their tech support. He's been working with me on this problem virtually all day. And um, Autel apparently gave up after I... Uh, had a couple of choice words for them, uh, which I really don't care, but whatever. Scott, uh, Scott's been nothing but nice to me. He's tried to help me out, and I appreciate it. He did find out that they have my something screwed up with my ID, which is, has a letter off, which doesn't make any sense because I've logged into this thing numerous times, and it's always been what it was. Uh, now somehow or another, something got skewed in the in the lettering uh, for the ID, so I don't get that. I don't know what happened, and uh, Scott said that he is going to be able to get Autel to fix that and put it back to the way it's supposed to be, and I should have my 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 account up and running tomorrow, which is fine. The, what I had to do in the meantime so I could get the updates going on this new machine is I had to run a different uh, ID, so I had to register basically again under a different ID uh, for this machine, which is fine. Uh, I just want to keep everything under a certain account for the business so I want to get it fixed but that's not really a big deal like I said it's more of a hassle because I couldn't get this thing registered so if you don't have it registered you only get to use the machine 10 times and then it locks you out because it's not registered it's a fail safe in cases of uh, theft I guess when the when the thing is new uh, I don't know what kind of fail safe they have if it gets stolen from my shop but it's another story right uh, as long as they're covered so anyway here's here's what I wanted to do I wanted to give you a comparison this is our uh, these are the two machines. This is the 908 that I've had. Obviously, you can see the mouse uh, mouse running here, right? So, this is the 908, and this is the Elite I have right next to it. As you can see, there's really not a lot of difference. The screens and everything basically look the same. Um, just doing some updating on this right now uh, because it's new. Uh, I'll back out of here just go into the same screen like I have on the other one as you can see the screens are basically the same there's they are I mean once you open the software and stuff they are different I did hook up to a 2013 um, a 2013 uh, Ford today just to try this thing out um, I'd like to do actually a, uh, a review on this tool once I get a chance to use it I wanted to show you guys. This is, for any of you guys that are familiar with the Autel with their VCI, 
it's kind of a big unit with a cable, right? That plugs into the OBD2 uh, connector. Here's your here's your VCI now. Okay, if you could see how tiny this thing is, pretty neat little feature too. If you look here, you see those pins, right? Oh, see that? Yeah, it's got a it's got a little it's got a little light on it. I guess so you could find the uh, if you can't find the uh, OBD2 port. I think that's just a nifty little thing, man. It actually made me laugh when I saw that. It's pretty cool. Um, I usually go in there with a light, you know, to try to if I can't dig it out normally. So I thought that was pretty neat, and um, yeah, so. They give you that. They give you a, uh, a USB, uh, a USB here that plugs into your tablet, the, you know, the Autel, and you can update the firmware in this thing. Um, it also comes with the J box, and uh, you know, uh, the other, obviously, the other connectors that uh, the normal, you know, the Autel comes with. Uh, some of the OBD1 stuff for Honda, I think, Mercedes, you know, BMW, whatever. Um, so pretty neat all around. The tool, uh, the tool for the most part seems pretty much the same as the other one, except it has it has some it has two USB ports now. So I guess I could run a mouse and a keyboard if I wanted to, right? Uh, some other connections here uh, for actually for this, I guess to plug. I'm assuming this is to plug into either the J box or to if I want to hook up to the um, to the PC rather. Maybe it's for the PC. I haven't really messed with it much. Uh, I'm gonna try to mess with the programming and what it can see what it can do. Um, haven't done any programming with an Autel. Uh, haven't done any programming in, in quite a while actually. Uh, done some pass-through stuff years ago with GM and done Ford stuff through IBS as uh, you know software. But I haven't done anything with an Autel, so I'm not really sure uh, how this works. I have to I have to research it and play around with it, obviously. I usually have a guy that comes in and does my um, my programming. But one neat feature with this Autel, which I hope it doesn't get damaged, is because uh, it's in a really kind of a uh, bad location. I mean, is the you see these connections here? They're kind of like out in the open. Uh, they work with this docking station. When you when you drop this in place, you'll see that the green light will come on, and you'll see the battery charge uh, here. The indicator. Um, I guess that's pretty neat. The only thing is, I don't really like that the connections are open like that in the shop environment. Even if, uh, even if you're careful with it, it could be kind of uh, damaging. I would imagine. I, I'm not. I'm not crazy about that. Uh, I would have preferred they made something with a um, with a port, you know, that was recessed inside the tool, maybe, and it kind of the tool slid on top of the charging port. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, I'm not an engineer, so I'm not that smart, I guess. But that would have been my take on how to do that. Whatever. Um, but aside from that, I mean, we're going to be, you know, careful with it, as we are with all of them. So I expect it to last about six months before it breaks, being that I treat it right. And um, here's your little power button here. They even made it smaller. The the well, at least the contact portion for your finger is smaller on this one than it was on the other one. So I'm kind of. Uh, Kind of wondering. It feels like the same switch that's in the 908, which broke on me. Um, not crazy, obviously. I'm not a fan of that. We'll see what happens. Um, like I said, my tools don't get abused. The, uh, as you can see on this, you know, on this old Autel, I still have the screen protector on here, and that screen underneath is absolutely perfectly mint. Um, you know, I don't. Uh, we don't abuse our stuff here, so. Uh, I don't know. I don't have any. I don't know what happened. Why it broke? Uh, for that matter, I don't know why the 2708s broke either. I got a feeling that there's a um, a self detonator or something inside these machines that um, is on a timer. That's my thought. Um, you know, self destruct mechanism. So conspiracy theory. Sorry. Anyway. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a. I just wanted to do a comparison real fast on these two units. I mean, like I said, there's not a whole lot of difference on the outside. Uh, they 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 definitely look a little different, but there's not a huge difference on the outside. Um, the software seems to be much different, though. There's there's. Uh, I, I started to notice too. Like, uh, there's a couple of things going into um, trying to think here, like uh, power balance, right on the Ford. It's in a different location than it was before. I thought they actually took it out, and I was a little upset. 
then I realize they have it in a different place. Now you have to scroll through and find it, but that's not a big deal. I think it's great. They have obviously a lot of edit features that the, that the other one doesn't have. Um, I don't want to start talking too much about it because I'm not 100% sure uh, at this point until I you know really get to use this thing. But I think I'll I'll probably put it in a video or something as soon as a car comes in with a, you know a check engine light or ABS or whatever uh, some kind of issue that I have to hook up to it and we'll try the Autel out and we can maybe learn together on how to navigate through it if there's uh, if there are any changes that are going to throw me for a loop it could be fun on camera right so that's it guys I um, I just wanted to show you guys a side by side comparison here of the two and um, we'll get we'll go further all right. Thanks for sticking with me, fellas. I uh, hope you're enjoying the videos, and, you know, please share them, and uh, sub if you haven't. Appreciate it. See you guys later.